welcome to another exciting announcement. This time, I would turn this over to my favorite mayor, Jared Johnson. <laughs> Tony always has a, a way of introducing, right? So, uh, I'll have him visit with my wife and see if I can be her favorite mayor. <laughs> um, we're here again, you know, my, my premise the last two times we met, which is becoming quite frequent, yes, isn't that exciting? I think we get a hand for me. has been Team Denison and what has Team Denison been doing and what does Team Denison look like? And today, Team Denison looks completely different than it did on the last two announcements. The last two, as you recall, were expanding our current, uh, some of our current industries, letting, seeing them expand and flourish in our market. And today, we're bringing in a new industry altogether. And Team Denison that made that happen, Mr. Uh, Harry Kirschman from DDA will be telling exactly the players there, but I just want to know that these are some different folks this time. And again, with the passion of seeing Denison move forward, one of which, um, simply had a contact. He bought supplies from this, this company today and, and materials and said, you know what, when y'all grow, y'all need to grow in Denison. And that relationship over the last several years brings us to today, and, and you'll hear more about that. So it's exciting to see how Team Denison looks different every time we make an announcement. We have some of the same players, but yet different folks every time, and it's good. One quick update, I know several of you have asked, what's the status on the Caterpillar expansion downtown? That's going great. We should be, or they should be, in that building actually using it on a daily basis in three weeks. So uh, it's a little ahead of schedule, and we'll be seeing those, those uh, 40 employees in our downtown every day. So that's exciting. Um, also, just want to, at this time, recognize who we're here to, to celebrate with today. The company is Visionary Industrial Installation. I want to introduce my good friend, Mr. Chang Jane. Uh, one of the owners and CEO of this opportunity with us today. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, we're really glad to be here today. Uh, we started this business about two and a half years ago, right? And, and this was a, a plan about three years ago to have a factory somewhere in the United States. And this is a uh, the moment that we change our journey to a next level. And, and I had a chance to contact Tony a few months ago, and we realized that the Denison City is one of the best city that we can have a facility. And I've been here several times since then, and finally we came here to establish our factory today. And, and there's been a lot of things happen for the past several months, but you know, everything turning to a good direction to our business. And hopefully we can assist Denison City's economy and also United States economy too by these uh, uh, innovative products. Uh, let me introduce our, uh, one of our major ma uh, key role guy in our business, Ross Royal, who is our uh, vice president who's learning uh, uh, business marketing and he will explain more detail about our business. Ross. By the way, Chang and I are both products of the South. He was born in South Korea. I was born, I was born in Montreal, South Canada. But no, my father I actually met my mother up there. He was from Navasota, Texas, so I am a product of Texas. I just got took a roundabout way getting here. But we do. A, this is a revolutionary new insulation material. It's called Eslin, E-S-L-I-N, for energy saving layered insulation. And it does provide great energy saving. In fact, it's about 50% less heat loss with our product than what industry is using out there today, than what most of the industry is using. And the industries that we tie into are like power, petrochemical, refining, concentrating solar power, mostly major industries, some commercial where it gets into steam and water systems and things like that. Uh, we've been growing steadily over the last three, three and a half years. We knew we had to get a factory in place, and we are so thankful to be here in Denison and, and uh, to have this thing going. We're excited about this uh, fa first factory. This is a real strategic move for us, too, because one of the things that caught us, materials, by the way, was invented in South Korea about 12 years ago. Uh, in South Korea, it grew from about zero to $40 million a year in about five years. We're having a little slower growth here, but it's just getting into the U.S. market is a, 
is a, a little bit tougher. Plus, the things we had to deal with in bringing the product in for Korea was uh, six to eight weeks delivery, which is a big factor. Insulation contractors, screws, you can tell. Yeah. You don't like those six to eight weeks, do you? You don't want it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, six to eight weeks, shipping costs, getting it over here. And then one of the biggest things for us is to be able to put on the boxes and cartons made in USA. So we're looking at it over, the, over this first year, bringing about 30 new jobs here to Denison and uh, American jobs. You know, there'll be new American jobs over here, so bringing some jobs back to the USA. It's a start. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, we, we really want to thank, you know, Tony, guy in Europe, in the Denison Development Alliance for all the help we've gotten out there, Charles Lester, Cruz, you know, we've had so much help in getting this thing going and it continues. It's been such a warm, Texas-sized welcome from everybody and we really, really appreciate it. Uh, there are some samples and uh, documents on the back table back there. Also, there's a tub of Hawaiian chocolates. I happen to live in Hawaii at the time, so uh, that's where I'm sure. <laughs> in the future, if you see me walk around the streets of Denison, it's probably going to be an Aloha shirt. That's, uh, I love them. Stand out, whatever, I just love them. But we do have some wine chocolates back there I brought with me, so please, everybody, uh, Probably about 36 there, so you better grab that. <laughs> 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 anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I mean, we're just so happy to be a part of the Denison community. Good morning. I'm Harry Kirschman, and I'm privileged to serve as the chairman of the Denison Development Alliance. And I uh, want to build upon Mayor Johnson's comment about Team Denison. And uh, first of all, I'd like to start with really the guy that, that probably was the, the uh, centerpiece of making this happen, that's Cruz Acosta, who was the individual that really introduced uh, visionary uh, industrial insulation to Denison as a possibility. So Cruz, thank you so much. For your In addition, it takes a lot of other people on a team to make an announcement like this possible. And I want to recognize a number of those individuals. Uh, from the city of Denison, uh, several of the individuals uh, really played key roles in this. David Howerton, John Wieda, Dale Jackson. Dale is with us today. as well as our city manager, Robert Hanna. Robert, thanks for being here. Several others have, uh, have been mentioned as well, and I wanted to uh, lift them up as well because they are key members of this team. Charles Lester, who is the broker that negotiated the lease, and Aaron Kernack, who was the owner's representative of the building on behalf of uh, Mr. Beatty. He's busy right now. Okay. Which is a good, we're pleased yes. about that. And he'll be ahead of schedule. And uh, I'd also like to recognize my colleagues on the Denison Development Alliance. Um, Richard Munson is here in the back. And John Bullard. And Andy Wilkins back in the corner. All three corners. We, we've got <laughs> set up here. And our fifth member, Larry Evans, could not be with us today. But I, I do appreciate that it, it is really a pleasure to serve with these four gentlemen um, on the Denison Development Alliance. Um, you've heard a few things about the, uh, the new industry. And I want to just tell you a little bit about what DDA has done uh, in support of this. Um, we have, have approved an economic incentive agreement um, for visionary industrial insulation that we are very proud. You've, you've already heard um, Ross talking about uh, 30 employees. We, have, uh, we are incentivizing uh, the company um, on the basis of, of $2,500 per job and um, over a three-year period of time. And uh, we just feel like this is a great step forward for our community. We feel like it is a, a lot of synergy. Uh, again, thanks to, to Cruz's involvement that we're, we're so happy to be able to have this announcement. 
And we look forward to many more announcements about new things happening in Denison, Texas. And once again, when we uh, convene in this place, we'll be hearing the mayor and we'll be talking about Team Denison. And I'm sure that, that uh, even though the, the, uh, the players that are on the field for the team for that particular uh, moment may change, we're all pulling in the same direction. So thank you all very much for being here. We appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you and welcome to Denison.